Hello everybody, welcome back to the Goalie Be a Pro. We're episode low 30s. Like I'm thinking 31 maybe. We are currently in the conference finals. That is right, the third round and we are up 2-1 against the Mighty Ducks. So we are sitting nice at the moment. However, that could change drastically in this episode. Hopefully it doesn't, but it's possible. And on top of that, we will be going back to using the third period format. Saw a comment, but obviously the last video I recorded before the video of me doing that went out. So I didn't really know whether you guys wanted to see it or not. But I guess the third period format is what we're sticking to. So we're back at it today. And as we do, have a look at the lines. Laugh with Borgo and Marner. Great first line. Second line, we got Holloway, Kane, and Yams. Just great depth here, honestly, as well. Pool party on the third line at 87 overall is outrageous. However, one thing to keep note of, he is scratched. Still doesn't make any sense to me. Anyways, to defensemen, Nurse and Pesci. And then we've got Lilligren Sanheim, Matheson, Zadorov, not bad. But the real key to the team is right there. TJ. Look at the backup. If I got hurt, they are screwed. So without delaying it any further, let's jump in to game number four. Our second game here in California before we head back to Canada. Hopefully... We walk out with a dub, but there's a chance that we go back with a best of three on our hands. First period. Not ideal. Was that seven seconds in? Are you kidding me? Eight shots. Not good. Make up for it in the second? Yes, we do. Ratcliffe gets two and then Borgo scores one as well. What happened there, Gibby? The lads have provided us with a two-goal lead, so all we have to do is not let them score two goals. And even if we do, there's a chance that our team will score. But ideally, I want to limit them to maybe... What a terrible start. Once again, the Ducks have the CHL logo at center ice. Doesn't make any sense to me. So that's not how I imagined this third period starting. But it is a rude awakening that I got to be on my tippy toes here. Because they could come flying in at any second. Nurse has it. Goes below the net. To Xavier. Out front to laugh. And I think Marner tried to bat that home. But that was a strike, my friend. Lindholm goes. And puts it in deep. Terry behind the net to get it. What just happened? I was there. I knew he was coming that way. And I was ready for it. Oh, you're kidding me. What a joke. This right here is what being a 90, some ridiculous 90 overall goaltender gets you. Amazing. I love that for me. So we're going to need another one, guys, because I am on that level of cannot stop a beach ball today. It's going well. Thankfully, we were up by two, though. So even though they got two, it's only tied now. Momentum is dead. So we really got to get some. Maybe I'll fight. It's not a bad idea. You think eventually goalies would stop accepting my fight request because I just absolutely beat the wheels off of them every time. But nope, they continue to rise to the challenge and they continue to fail. I probably will lose eventually. But as of right now, to the best of my memory, your boy's undefeated. So I think that there will be goalies coming for the belt. But they won't get it. Oh dear. What's going on here? Lindholm is in. He goes over to Milano. What a save. That was last second. Just got the blocker on it. Please beat him. Nice. Marner picks it up along the boards. Cuts in. Tries to make a pass to Xavier who can't take the easiest gift of all time. Yes? Had a chance to crash the net there, Mitchell. What are you doing? Even if we do end up losing this, there is still a chance that we win the series in this video. However, there is also a chance... That the Ducks put us out. Can you imagine how devastating that would be? They are playing different right now though. So if we do lose this, it's going to be sort of expected. We've been getting some offense, but nothing really too good. You know, nothing that was like, oh, that should have been in if it wasn't for Gibson. It's like anybody could have saved those, except for me, obviously. Lindholm is in again, and he gets rocked by Darnell Nurse. That's our captain right there. Yam, you gotta stop that. He's doing the same thing over and over. Let's go! Holloway receives a quick dish off from, I believe that was Pesci. Walks in, rips it behind a screened John Gibson. Oh no. Oh no. 
They're coming out for blood. They want this game tied back up immediately. But we're shutting them down. Not letting them get a shot off there is huge. The Ducks are back in. What a poke check by Pesci. Risky pass in front of the net, but that is negated by his outstanding defensive efforts to stop any potential attack there from the Ducks. Marner behind the net. Ooh, I like it. Let's get physical. Final minute. We're up by one. Can we keep the lead though? The Ducks are nowhere to be found. Down by one goal. What have I done? I shouldn't have said anything. They have the puck. Lindholm goes in front to Terry. That will be kicked aside. Nurse is there to get it. Passes it to Borgo. An empty net. Kane goes for the shot, but Drysdale is in the way. And he will block it. Great hit. Tremendous hit. And a great back check by Borgo as well. Things are clicking right now. Kane gets a rematch with the empty net. And he screws it up again. That's actually kind of impressive. 10 seconds. Puck behind the net. Kane gets it again. And he makes no mistake this time. Out of the zone it goes. And a weak little backhand from... He's just trying to show Kane what he should have done. You know, they're talking to each other right now. And he is... Yep, Holloway. That's who scored. The offense bailed us out big time. And we are headed back to Canada. With a 3-1 series lead and hopes of moving on to the Stanley cup finals we didn't meet the overall which yeah i agree we did not however the team prevailed and we are still one game away can we close it out in this video because now there's a chance that we lose two in a row and go to a game seven and i seem to love game sevens i don't but apparently i do because i feel like we've gone to one every single time so we have returned to our home ice and it is time to see if we can move on or if the ducks are gonna fight for another day. First period. 0-0. Zero, zero. 14 shots. We are being outshot big time. More than double. Second. Tie game. Got the Let's Go Oilers chant going. The fans looking to see their squad move on to the Stanley Cup Finals. And they would love for it to be at home, I'm sure. So once again, it will be completely transparent to you guys. But I have been struggling to speak once more. And I feel like I just keep rambling on and starting sentences that I don't know how to finish. What a save. Lindstrom going to drop to Butterfly. And it works out in our favor. Here goes Kane. 8-8. Eight, eight. Tries a toe drag release. Doesn't succeed though. I feel like I have told you guys this, but maybe not. My technique, when I know that I've rambled on for too long or... I just need to cut something out because it <laughs> doesn't make any sense. Then I get real up close to the microphone and just let it know. I don't scream per se, but I make a big peek in the audio. So when I'm editing and see it, I'm like, yep. Although I do edit my videos a lot more intensely now. It didn't let me hug the post. I swear on my life I tried to hug the post right there. Yeah, I probably don't even need to do that anymore because I do edit the videos more intricately but it does help so i immediately know that it's got to go the odd time it'll get left in because it doesn't sound as stupid as i thought it did but i'd say a good 90 percent of the time it's gone great effort right there but gibson rose to the challenge here come the ducks and lindholm once more i feel like i've only seen this guy the entire series what a move i think yamamoto needs to take some notes Sanheim, no! So close. He had a 1-0 on -oh there. Finally, someone carrying the puck that isn't Lindholm. I mean, it's kind of close, Lundestrom, but, you know, it is someone different, believe it or not. We're down by one. Less than five minutes to go. The offense does not seem to be anywhere near where it was last game. Although, to be fair, in the last game, we weren't really doing much to start the third. And then it just kind of picked up out of nowhere. So maybe we could do the same thing this time around. But no promises. My performance today has been disgusting, though. I have not been performing. Well, no, he just missed the net. Gotta respect the effort, though. Yeah, right. Think I couldn't see that through the crowd? AKA one person? Well, you're wrong. Because I could. Because of the camera angle, it's higher up. And we are nearing the final minute of play. Once again, the team will not pull me because it's in the game. 
Great effort. Again in the slot. No, that's pretty much how we scored last game, but clearly Gibson's learned. He, he's when watching his tape. Another great save. Look at this onslaught. Yam? Okay. Hey, it's our friend again, Lindholm. Pass it over there. Let's go. Nurse, pass it along the boards. Instead of just immediately one touch passing, it decides to cut back. Bold decision. Kane has it. Goes around there. He's going for end-to-end. -end. Little E-to-E -E action right here. No, he sauced it in the middle. Not great. I don't know what we're doing, but trying to win this hockey game is not it. Don't worry, I got this. I don't. I'm not going for the goal. I know people want to see the goal, but I'm not doing it in the playoffs. I might try, maybe, during the season. We'll see. Another lackluster performance from TJ, and we need to bounce back. I can't keep up at this pace, otherwise it is going to end tragically. Maybe the pressure's off a little bit because we're back in Anaheim. I don't know. I feel like they're going to push a game seven, but I'm jumping right into this one. No hesitation. First period, it is tied. Second period... Lads, let's go. This game is certainly not over. What a way to start. They are coming out physical in this third period, and it is absolutely justified, considering their season is, in fact, on the line, and they're down by three. But yeah, we had a two-goal lead to start this video, and that disappeared real quick. So I got to get my act together here, and hopefully, if I play well, that we can carry that momentum into the Stanley Cup Finals. That's a glitch goal right there. He tried it. NHL 12. You always cut across the ice on your forehand. Do the... What a save, Johnny. Credit where it's due. But yeah, NHL 12. You just cut across on your forehand. Do like the full stick back thing. And then rip it far side as you're cutting across. Easy goal. Every time. It honestly might still work. I just made that save. <laughs> I didn't do anything. No save animation. But I felt the controller go bzzz, so I did something. You know what? I'm just going to say it. We got this one on lock. We're playing well defensively. We're not getting a whole lot of offense yet again, but we don't need offense right now. We have to play one part of the game, and that is D-Picket Fence. All right, they're probably going to get a decent shot off here. Nothing too scary. Pass that I probably should not have made. Yeah, right, Perot. Giving it to Sandheim again. He handled it well last time. And this time, there was a lot less pressure. So I knew that he was going to do the right thing. Point shot with an X-Factor, apparently. It was really weak, considering there was an X-Factor behind that. Oh, and we're headed to the power play. It's done. It is absolutely done. See you later, Caesar. Get off the ice, bud. If we score here, it is done, done. Like, it's already kind of done. But if we go up 5-1, they might as well just skate off the ice. Oh, yeah? I love the puck movement. Not a big fan of that, or that, to be fair. But somehow we still have possession. Will they send it down the ice? Probably not. They need goals. Oh, okay. Still goes for the good old-fashioned hockey play. Back over there you go to Mitchie. I'll take the team play. You know, you guys need goals, but if you want to send the puck in, by all means, what a hit that was. We're headed right back to the man advantage. You can't do that. Two minutes. Two minutes for charging, you know. That's... That's low. We're just not going to do anything about that. We're going to watch Yam get run over. I doubt it. Let's go, Gibby. Right now. Step up to the plate. This is our... I think this might be our third time fighting this series. I know it's our second, at least. But it could be our third. Oh, he caught me already. Did he catch me again? No. He dodged that, though. To be fair to him. Look at this guy go! Oh, dear. We have some ground to cover. Dodge. And... Oh! Didn't get him. But I took him down at least. Oh, it's done. Easy. You thought you had me, didn't you? You really did. No, admit it. Admit it. Come on. You thought you got me. Well, you don't, John. And you never will. Sorry about that. Just had to let him know. You know? Don't worry, Yam. I'll step up for you. And then he does that for me. I mean, he didn't really do that. But he was certainly a big part of it. The game's done. We are in the Stanley Cup Finals. I genuinely don't really believe it. We started on Edmonton at an ultimate low. I did not want to be here at all. Requested a trade at least 73 times. Rejected every single... Can I go him again? This is outrageous. Someone do something. Long story short, if you told me that we were going to be an Edmonton Oiler in the Stanley Cup Finals, I would have said, you are insane. And you know what? 
people are clearly still enjoying the series. It's putting up views, so... As long as you guys are still enjoying it and watching it, I will continue the series. So, I think it is time to go to the East next year. However, I do feel like after the playoff run, it's going to drop off a little bit. We'll see what happens. I know if I do a player be a pro, the views will probably be horrendous, but I kind of want to do one anyway. We'll see. I, again, I don't know what the plan is. Kind of just going with the flow right now. Easy save. I don't know what I'm doing. I was scared, and then I realized that we're up by four goals. So that fear instantly dissipated. And there you have it, the celebration. Stick has been tossed. We're keeping on the helmet, glove, and blocker, though. We got to be somewhat respectful. We're in the Stanley Cup Finals. Who is our opponent going to be? I don't even remember who the teams were in the finals over there. They had 23 shots and only one goal. Stellar performance. How did he become one of the stars? Okay. He was one of the guys bullying our team. First star of the game. Talk about a bounce back. The boys are gassed and so am I. It's time to take on the East. It's all green as well. What a thing of beauty. Save percentage went up by 0.02. Great performance. We are heading into this finals hot. Moment of truth. I could have potentially already known this and just forgot, but we are going up against uh, Coach Carl. We're going up against Coach Carl. Oh, right, the challenge. He's probably pissed off because I didn't have like a high factor or whatever he was talking about. Your performance in these playoffs has been outstanding so far. Debatable. Contender for the... Hold on. It's all a product of team effort. Being honest. I'd like to get the con Smythe. Uh, yeah, I mean, typically players do want to win trophies. How about I give you more ice time until the final? <laughs> what? What is this ankle breaker though? How can I get it? Playoffs are inbound. You're going for the cup. But can you also take the con Smythe trophy? So if I get the con Smythe, I also get ankle breaker. Which I feel like is a player... X Factor, I'm very lost right now. So that didn't have to do with the other promise. We're going on a lengthy dialogue here, post-conversation, just off the record. And we get the Ottawa Senators who have a record of 12 and 4. They've lost four games on their journey to the Stanley Cup Finals. Can't lie, a little bit scary. Yo, you know it'd be really sick if James just stopped talking. I just read the message. You're about to play in the Stanley Cup Finals in your rookie year. <laughs> No, I'm not. Persuasion success, baby. We look forward to seeing how the Stanley Cup Finals play out. Yeah, I would imagine that you do. I feel like these reporters are preying on my downfall, but we have the Ottawa Senators, as I said, in the Stanley Cup Finals. They finished first in the league as well? This is the ultimate underdog story. Who the heck do they have on their team? I'm gonna check our stats, obviously, because I want to see how everyone's doing. In the playoffs, Marner, 19 points, solid. Laugh, we got 15, 13 from Yam, and then a quadruple of 12s. I specifically sorted by rookie goalies because I am a rookie. Duh. Why don't I get fighting stats? The players get it. Another moment of truth. The Ottawa Senators. Okay. Well, GG. Yo, straight up, how's this team even legal? McDavid's making 13.2. Somehow they have ADB under contract at 10. They've got Jimmy Superstar for two years at... 5 million. He's 89 overall. They are really in it to win it this year. Batherson with a 23.5 shooting percentage, a 27.3. Now the question becomes, who am I going head to head against? Jeremy Swayman, who is 85 overall. Got two abilities on him. Doesn't have a gold though. <laughs> okay, my initial instinct was, you know, we're going to get destroyed. Don't even know why we're playing in the Stanley Cup Finals. We should just wave the white flag, but screw that. We're going to win. We are going to have the ultimate underdog story. 15th place in the league. People were laughing at us when we got in the playoffs. They're like, oh, Edmonton, that's cute. Can't wait for them to lose in three games in the first round. But my words are marked, and we are going to take home the Stanley Cup. You heard it here first. It's like I'm giving an interview, but there's no reporter. I really am fired up. Can't wait to see how this goes. And I just once again want to thank you guys for your support on the series. Glad you're still enjoying it. Still like watching me try to save pucks after all these years. Some of you may be new to the channel. And I appreciate you too. So on that note. 
I will see you in the next video where the Edmonton Oilers take on the Ottawa Senators for the Stanley Cup Finals.